Hi, welcome to my channel Quantum Academy for Physics. I'm Swapna and I will teach you advanced physics uh, for clearing CSA or NET set gate and JL and DM, DL examinations. In advanced physics, we have quantum mechanics, electromagnetic theory, solid state physics, mathematical physics, electronics, nuclear physics, atomic and molecular spectroscopy, classical mechanics, statical mechanics. All these are the branches of physics and from today we will learn about mathematical physics we will learn one by one no need to worry and in mathematical physics i will teach you differential equations matrices complex analysis and the leftover topics i will try to cover all the topics of mathematical physics and today we will, we will learn about differential equations differential equations is nothing but the equations which consist the derivatives of unknown functions okay now in differential equation we will have ordinary differential and partial differential equations ordinary differential equations involves only one independent variable only one and partial differential equations involves two or more independent variables now look at these equations y equals to x into dy by dx plus x by dy by dx here x is the only one independent variable okay y is the dependent variable so as in the definition the equation must contain only one independent variable so this is a ordinary differential equations now partial differential equation x into dou u by dou x plus y into dou u by dou y equals to 2u here x and y are two independent variables so in, in definition I have already told you the equation must involve two or more independent variables so this is a partial differential equations and to solve partial differential equations we have various methods we have four methods first method is variable separable method next is linear equations exact equations and homogeneous equations so before solving these uh, before finding the solutions of a differential equation first we have to learn about order and degree of a differential equation what is an order order uh, order of highest derivative in a differential equation highest derivative remember in a differential equation we uh, the equation may consist uh, of uh, we might derive the dependent function twice or thrice or once but the order will be equal to highest derivative now we have derived this uh, we have derivated the x which is uh, a dependent variable we have derivated the x with respect to 2 with respect to t twice so the order will be 2 and we have derivated here y with respect to x for once and here to once so order will be 1 if the differential equation contains uh, sorry if the equation contains one constant we have to derivate the equation for once and if the uh, equation contains two constants we have to derivate the equation for twice so number of constants equals to uh, if the constants will be n and we have to derivate the equation for n times so the highest derivative sorry highest order highest derivative equals to order so here the order will be n now what is degree degree is nothing but power of highest derivative and the equation must be free from radical radicals is nothing but power of fraction so look at this uh, equation 
highest power of highest derivative so look at this equation 1 plus dy by dx all square all power 3 by 2 by d square y by dx square equals to c the equation must be free from radicals we have here 3 by 2 the radical is 3 by 2 now we have to eliminate this 3 by 2 so now one plus dy by dx all square all power 3 by 2 I am taking this d square y by dx square towards right hand side c into d square y by dx square now I am multiplying with 2 on both sides now this equation will be equal to 1 plus dy by dx all square all power 3 which is equal to c into d square y by dx square all power 2 here what is order order is nothing but highest derivative here y is derivative with respect to x for once here it is derivative for twice so highest derivative is 2 so order will be 2 now power of highest derivative power is 2 highest derivative is equal to order which is 2 and the power of highest derivative is 2 so here the degree will be 2 and and before examples see d square x by dt square plus n square equals to 0 here order is 2 and degree will be 1 same here order is 1 but degree is 2 why because we have to take the highest degree here is 1 degree is 1 sorry all power is 1 here power is 2 we have to take highest power so the degree will be 2 now uh, we will solve or we will find the solutions for the first order and first degree order must be and and degree also one you will find the solutions for the equation of order one and degree one using these four methods i will teach you one by one so variable separable method first method is variable separate separable method uh, remember this trick it will be easy for you to solve the problems now step one bring all the functions of x and dx on one side then the variables of y and dy on other side see look at this equation the functions of y and dy on left hand side on lh side and functions of x and dx on rh side first bring uh, first uh, first separate the y functions of y and dy terms with the functions of x and dx terms separate separate these functions and then integrate the and inti and then integrate these equations then we will find a we will get a general solution integrate this equation Integ uh, integration of f of y dy equals to integration of pi of x dx plus c where this c is the integration constant look at this example i will solve a problem it will be easy for uh, it will be easy for you to understand a variable separable method dy by dx equals to e power 3x minus 2y plus x square into e power minus 2y uh, I have already told you bring all the functions of x and dx on one side and y and dy on other side next now dy by dx equals to 
separate these terms x and y terms this equation will be written as e power 3x into e power minus 2y plus x square into e power minus 2y now dy by dx equals to here e power minus 2y and e power minus 2y is common take common e power minus 2y we have remained with e power 3x plus x square now dy bring this term on left hand side e power minus 2y equals to e power 3x plus x square into dx so i have separated y and x terms separately now integrate this equation integrate this equation plus c where c is the integration constant now solve this equation to get a solution i'm solving this equation integration of e power 2y dy equals to integration of e power 3x dx plus integration of x square dx plus c integration of e power 2y will be e power 2y by 2 equals to e power 3x by 3 plus x cube by 3 plus c this is the solution for a given differential equation you can simplify this for a particular or uh, a general solution now e power 2 by i am taking this 3 on left hand side equal to 2 on right hand side 2 into e power 3x plus x cube plus 3 into 2 will be 6c this is the general solution this is a variable separable method now take few problems for homework please try these problems then only it will be uh, helpful or you can solve every problem using a variable separable method.